thousands of them in the world. They get that good by shooting thousands of times a day. Yes, that's, that's how they become great marksmen. We imagine that practice. Might need bullets, huh? It says, uh, when you tend to burn through ammo by the caseload each week, buying it online to save even a few cents per round can ease your shooting budget more than a little, Chestnut notes. In other words, they're taking bullets away from the very people that you want to have a gun. They shoot better than police officers. It says, additionally, the provision requiring sellers to report purchases of more than 1,000 rounds of ammo, as Chestnut points out, could easily be bypassed. If someone wanted to wage such an attack with more than 1,000 rounds, he or she could easily skirt the proposed law by purchasing 950 rounds this week, then 950 rounds next week. We see this all the time with the government trying to steal money from people that put less than 10 grand in, even though they're allowed to put less than 10 grand in, they, they get accused of skirting the law anyway. So it would be then if they're using it the same way an excuse to take the bullets away too. Are you seeing the way this is happening, friends? And most importantly, are you seeing why it's getting the dumb deal of the day? Friends, you're listening to The Correct View. Sam I. B. DeGangi signing off, reminding you to look at the works of Mike McLaughlin, uh, M-A-C-L-A-U-G-H-L-I-N, Mike McLaughlin. Uh, some of the best writing that you will see extant today, you will find from the uh, pages um, of his, so go. Also, you can donate to the show at thecorrectviews at hotmail.com. Every penny you give to me goes towards a better show. I got the uh, new cables and things I needed for the graphics in, and uh, much to my chagrin, now the TV isn't working, so I'm going to have to re-plan uh, how I'm doing that. But friends, it's your donations that at least make the planning possible. So thank you, good night, and God bless.